There are a number of reasons why markets matter. First of all, people should have the freedom to form into markets because in order to prevent things like market exchange from emerging, you're going to have to use some sort of violence or hierarchical domination to stop it. So if you are in a social anarchist utopia and there is someone from one cooperative, let's say, and someone from another cooperative, and they want to trade what they have, in order to stop them from trading what they have, and I don't just mean barter exchange here, there there might be multiple people in the party and they might be agreeing to use a medium of exchange that begins to look a lot like money, maybe it could be shells or whatever, and these things did emerge even in pre-capitalist societies quite quickly. In order to stop that, you're going to need to introduce some violent power relation. So markets are probably going to inevitably evolve to meet people's needs. And another thing is that I think there are certain features of duties we have that do include things like property rights. They're not quite as robust and strong as libertarians of a traditional right-wing sort like to make them sound. They rely more on something like occupancy and use. But of course, what counts as use should be thought of as quite broad. And in order to respect people's right to do what they want with their actions and with the physical things that result from their actions, you're going to have to enable something like market transaction. Another uh, reason to care about it is that there are things that you're going to want, any political philosophy is going to want, that are only deliverable through markets. This goes back to the point about economic calculation that economists have made for a while. In a sufficiently complicated society, you're going to need market prices in order to enable coordination between individuals. No single committee, syndicate, blah, 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 is going to be able to make those decisions in an intelligent manner. This is the Hayekian knowledge point. And it's not just that it's hard to do the math or something like that. It's that the type of knowledge necessary for economic production of various goods that we want is necessarily dispersed, oftentimes implicit, not translatable. So you're just going to need something like a market in order to meet those needs. Mutual aid is great. It can take care of a lot, but it can't make these fine-grained decisions about production and such that you need in societies. I have been talking about centralization as if I am arguing with some more traditional socialist here. And a lot of social anarchists want to resist the phrasing of centralization um, because they think that like these communes should be small and dispersed um, and that begins to look like decentralization. But at that point, what I mean by centralization is sort of centralization, not of institutions over a geographic area into one body, but centralization of decision making away from the level of individuals and towards the levels of community. Um, and I think that social anarchism is still guilty of that. Mm -hmm.